አዎ ሰላምትና ጤና ይስጥርኝ መልካም አዲስ አመት happy new year happy ethiopian new year here are some examples some other examples of saying happy new year i said melkam which means good adis adis or hadis which means new and ahmet means year but one can also say in kwan kazemen wa zemen ashagagarawo ashagagarawo in kwan kazemen wa zemen ashagagarawo as well as in kwan la hadisu amet be salamana be desata adarasu which also means congratulations he has brought you across from year to year and then one final way of saying happy new year in amharic is in kwan le le datu baal badakhna adarasu now it's interesting this last one right here this last one that we have happy new year and it says literally congratulations he has brought you to the new year in peace is also associated from our root with happy christmas or merry christmas or more appropriately congratulations he has brought you safely to his feast now what do we mean by that we need to understand our tawahido and the real importance of the new year or crossing from zemen water zemen now this brief presentation that we like to present on this ethiopic new year or 2004 the ethiopian year is 2004 now as we've noticed another way of saying happy new year is associated with the ledet is associated with the birth now we have to go to the very roots of our tawahido to understand this special greeting this particular greeting for the new year because now when we study our tawahido and we go to our own tawahido roots we begin to understand that in ancient ethiopia not only was September 11th and then September 12th as this year in leap year was not only a new year but it was also the overlapping births of Kedistan Gamaria as well as the savior Gietachena med Hanatachen Jesus Christos so this new year and the new year from our true ethiopic root is not only the new year of a new year but it's also the overlapping births of kedistan gamaria of the virgin mary and of her son our black lord and savior jesus christos this is all from our true root that's known as tawahido or the ritua hymenot now here are a collection of some visuals this is a beautiful picture right here this is truly a beautiful picture right here even the renaissance painters like da vinci and the others leonardo da vinci they understood and they knew this secret truth and they were persecuted because of the gnosis or the gnosis that they knew and they knew more concerning ethiopia and the true ethiopic root and even the black mother and the black child this is a old painting right here that we want to show you and if you notice this is one of they say the oldest paintings and if you look at the son the savior you can see his negroid or ethiopic or black features is very very clear now when we go to the roots 
we go to our roots, we go back to the beginning of civilization, and we see the Isis or Orset imagery is linked with the Kedistim Grimarium or the Black Virgin Mary and child imagery. Now, what's very important is that September 11th in regular years and September 12th in leap years is actually the overlapping birthday of both the Savior and his mother and Kedis Dingal Maria and the Black Virgin Mary. Now, <clears throat> let's share a little bit of this with ones and ones and ones, that the incarnation dates, the dates of incarnation of the Son of God, Jesus Christos, in the womb of Kedistin Gilmarium, or the Black Virgin Mary, at the Annunciation of Kedus Gabriel, the Archangel, and the conception of the Mother of God in the womb of her mother, Hannah, occurs on Tahsas 1 and 7, rather than Megabit, or the Ethiopic month of Megabit 29 and Nahase 7. This is all imposed, was imposed by the Egyptian Orthodox Church, respectively. Now, we must remember that His Imperial Majesty, Kedemawi Haile Selassie, brought the new Israel out of Egypt after 1,600 years of pseudo-orthodoxy or the Egyptian domination of our native church between the years 1941 and 1959. This is the work of His Imperial Majesty. So once again, we're going to get into a little more details of this, but we wanted to wish ones and ones, our brothers and sisters, in the name of the King of Kings and His Christ, Amelkam Adis Ahmet Adarasachu, as well as happy birth of Jesus Christos and his mother, Kedistin Maria. Shalom. Stay tuned. More to come.